Hello, welcome back to American Dairy Association, Indiana's performance pack. Today, we are going to take the knowledge we learned from the macronutrient sections and apply it to real life decisions. In this segment, we will be discussing the nutrition facts panel. If you aren't familiar with the nutrition facts panel, let's start with background information. In May, 1994, the first nutrition facts panel appeared on everyday grocery items listing serving size, calories, vitamins and mineral, and percent daily values. In the most recent update, added sugars for the items are now shown on the nutrition facts panel. If you're trying to find these panels, look on the back side or the side of the item. Most of what you buy at the grocery store, gas station, or any place similar will have a nutrition facts panel on the item. Most of the nutrition facts panels are boxed, so it's easy to identify, like these. As I mentioned earlier, nutrition facts panels provide the following ingredient information. Serving size, calories, fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, protein, vitamins and minerals, and percent daily values. Let's start at the top of the panel to learn more about each. The serving size information is key to understanding the rest of the panel. The first piece of information is titled servings per container. This is the number of servings the item contains. In this instance, the servings per container are 15, which means the information list below is for one serving. Therefore, if you eat the entire container of all the, all the nutrient information numbers listed below must be multiplied by 15. If you're wondering what the size of one serving is, the panel provides this information as well. Using our example, the serving size is three crackers. This means to consume the correct nutrient information as listed on the panel, you will need to portion out three crackers. Next, let's look at calories. And you will notice in smaller print, the statement amount per serving. Calories represent the energy value in the food item you're consuming. From what we have just discussed, if you eat the entire container, you will have to multiply the number of calories by 15. For this item, if you consume the serving size, you will consume 70 calories. The next set of information is fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, and protein. These are all listed with a G standing for grams or MG standing for milligrams. This is the measurement of the nutrient amount. From previous sessions, we know that fat, carbohydrates, and protein are considered macronutrients. On the nutrition facts panel, the total amount of fat, carbs, and protein are listed per serving size. Underneath the total fat, most panels will identify the types of fat in that item, which was described in detail in the fat session. Total carbohydrates also list out the various types of carbs in the item. If you remember from the carb session, this is important to improve your performance. Cholesterol and sodium amounts listed are helpful for heart health. Consuming a steady diet of items high in cholesterol and sodium increases the likelihood of having clogged arteries, thus heart issues later in life. Understanding cholesterol and sodium is beneficial beneficial for you to enjoy various types of food without anxiety. Knowledge allows you to enjoy your meals. So let's dig deeper. Cholesterol comes from any item that contains an animal product like steak, butter, or fish. As humans, we naturally make cholesterol as well, which means genetics can play a role in heart health. Sodium is literally the amount of salt in the food item. Fresh produce won't have sodium listed as most processed food items use some salt as a preservative or flavoring. Underneath the line, the nutrition facts panel lists the types and amounts of micronutrients, which we will take a deeper dive later. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals that are part of a healthy diet. In our example, you can see the food item includes iron. Percent daily values are the last piece of information we have left to discuss on the nutrition facts panel. Percent daily values are listed on the right side of the panel next to each of the nutrients in the food item. At the bottom of the panel, there is an asterisk informing us that the percent daily values are based on a 2000 daily calorie intake. Now you don't need to worry about that number. You may consume more or less than 2000. As you can see in our example, the percentages are listed for each nutrient in the food item. 
Therefore, the percentage is telling us that if we consume one serving of the food item, we will consume 6% of daily sodium intake. The main point percent daily values are using this information to help you make informed decisions about food items. First, percent daily values should be used for your needs within a day. They are percent daily values based on a daily intake. So they are used to make decisions within one day. Secondly, percent daily values should be used as a guide. We know that each food item has multiple nutrients in each which is why we will juggle our decisions between nutrients we need, like vitamins and minerals, with other nutrients, like sodium. Because each food item's nutrient profile will change, your decisions will be based on what you have eaten already in the day. Using the Nutrition Facts Panel can help you create performance plates to supply you with nutrition. The serving size information provides you the most crucial information. As much of our culture says, fill your plate and eat all of it like a buffet. But this information allows you to create a plate with variety and colors by knowing how to measure out a serving size. Additionally, the Nutrition Facts Panel provides the nutrition composition of food items so you can decide which nutrients you still need for the day. Overall, healthy performance plates should be colorful with a variety of food sources. Now that we know how to read a Nutrition Facts Panel, Let's use this information to make wise decisions about the performance plates we create. Thanks so much. See you soon.